Meanwhile, next here tonight, hundreds of law enforcement officers are attending a private law enforcement conference in Kissimmee this week called Street Cop Training. A New Jersey Comptroller's Office report released late last year says the company taught unconstitutional policing tactics, glorified violence, and denigrated women and minorities at a 2021 conference in that state. Tonight, I... Yeah, that seems pretty typical for cops to be <clears throat> taught to hate women, hate minorities, and to be taught unconstitutional because cops don't care about the law whatsoever. Team investigator Adam Walser is digging into that report and learns how your tax dollars have gone to support this controversial company. That streak. Wow, he says he wants to die at 91, surrounded by hookers and cocaine. Um, I mean, if you live in, uh, you can. Uh, hire sex workers but anywhere else that's illegal and this dude would probably be uh beating down women for being sex workers or arresting people for doing cocaine but this cop admits that he does cocaine and hires sex workers cop training founder dennis benigno musing about hookers and cocaine in a room full of cops these girls like our not as well they need to do things to make money. <laughs> the video clip was released Wow, the dude is truly disgusting, making fun of sex workers who have to do sex work in order to get meat. That is truly insane. And the cops laughing about that? They're truly sick people. Released by the New Jersey State Comptroller's Office, which subpoenaed and obtained hours of footage from a 2021 conference in Atlantic City. What we found was really disturbing. Instructors taught unconstitutional policing practices. The report said instructors made over 100 discriminatory or harassing comments. I mean, not surprised about that either. Most cops are racist. If you're trying to get a little putty, putty poo, uh, PNT, whatever the hell you call it, right, there is an approach. So he's going to talk about how you can sexually assault women. If you're trying to get a little putty, putty poo, whatever you call it, okay, there's an approach. That's former West Baton Rouge Parish Sheriff's Reserve Officer Sean Paradisi, who also taught about vehicle pursuits. Run for me. Somewhere along the chase becomes... <laughs> Street cops found... So he is talking about how he is totally willing to just murder people, and these people claim to uphold the law no they constantly violate the law because cops don't care about the law all they care about is murdering people founder benigno was seen in another clip discussing how he handles a civilian shooting video of him with a cell phone benigno okay it is not illegal for a person to videotape to videotape to videotape cops, yet this dude has no issue with violating people's rights, assaulting them for videotaping cops. There's a lot of cops that will do that. They will attack you for videotaping them because they don't like the idea of their crimes being exposed. Benigno resigned from the Woodbridge, New Jersey Township Police Department after a black woman alleged in a federal lawsuit that she was falsely arrested, racially profiled, and assaulted by the defendant officers based on her race and gender. The suit Yeah, most cops are racist. They're either Nazis or KKK members. Alleged Benigno jumped on her car hood, pointed a gun at her face, and told her he was going to shoot her. The case was settled by the township. Benigno settled mean that the cop lost was found to be violating people's rights they probably didn't even arrest the cop for his crimes and the taxpayers had to pay out thousands upon thousands of dollars to protect this cop I was a featured speaker this week at a street cop conference at the Gaylord Palms Conference Center in Kissimmee the I team went to Gaylord Palms where we saw marked vehicles from at least 26 law enforcement departments in Florida and neighboring states.
Haines City, Auburndale, and Sarasota Police Departments all had officers attending the conference at a rate of... Yeah, and all of them are racist people that are willing to kill black people for whatever reason they can think of or for no reason whatsoever, which is why it's pretty common for cops to murder black people. $699 per person plus food and lodging. Those local agencies declined on-camera interviews. We went inside the conference and... Well, they declined on-camera interviews, so afraid of being on camera. Why is that? Center, ...which is open to the public and hosts multiple simultaneous events. I-team photographer Matt McGlashan was confronted after he was spotted shooting a street cop sign with his phone in the hallway. I'm asking you not to come back, okay? Okay. So, can we, is there somebody we can talk to if I give me my card and sure. cell phone number? Yeah, uh, sure. Yeah, we want to talk to because, you know, we, you know, this is kind of a controversial yeah. conference, so and we I, wanted to I see don't know how it is, but about all if you do stuff. come back, right, we're working with the sheriff's department, so you're not allowed to come back inside. So, if you do come okay. back, we're going to go for the sense. Do you understand, sir? Well, cops hate the press just as much as any other fascist does. Yeah. Multiple people wearing tactical gear looked on as we were approached again while trying to leave. Hello. Hey, how you doing? Good, good. You with the conference? Um, no, sir. I'm with the hotel. Okay. Yeah, I'm one of the security managers here. Okay. Do we do um, we need to leave? Yeah, we just got um, reports you guys were kind of filming what's going on. We were just in the lobby. Is that okay? Gotcha. Secu you think cops that uphold the Constitution would allow these people to be there since they're doing a report, but you know, cops never cared about the law because they're not there to care about the law. They're there just to murder and abuse people. Security followed us in a golf cart as we left the property just minutes after paying a $37 daily parking fee. We emailed the conference's press contact but didn't hear back. Benigno posted a video response to the New Jersey report on YouTube. Almost a thousand police officers know exactly what happened during the 2021 conference and not one ever complained that there was anything short of great training. Record show that Right, because why would racist people complain about being taught racist stuff? They don't. They wouldn't. It'd be like a Nazi complaining there are Nazis talking about Nazism. Since 2021, street cop training received payments from five Florida departments or agencies, including the Florida Department of Law Enforcement and the Department of Agriculture. The OSC report said street cop trained 2,000 New Jersey officers a year. Taxpayers paid for a training that normalized discriminatory and harassing behavior by public servants who were supposed to be held to very high standards. The company recently... This is honestly why there needs to be a reformation of the police so that we can remove all of these corrupt cops. People act like it's just you know, one bad apple in the bunch. No, it's entire departments that are bad. We moved to Florida and declared bankruptcy in January. Records show street cop training owed Gaylord Palms nearly a quarter of a million dollars at that time. Well, we were painted as the bad guys. We are, in fact, the good guys creating better, more well-trained police officers for a country that expects the best. And that every right. Training people to be racist and that it's okay to kill black people. How is that training better cops? That's a toy. Uh, what, every effing friend that you work with is 106 and a 50? And you stop and you let them go. Have a good one, right? Oh, so, yeah. This is showing like cop nepotism where uh, if it's somebody you know or another cop breaking the law, they won't do anything about it, which is typical of cops to protect other cops um, when they're committing crimes because there is no true good cop. Every friend of yours who you work with is 106 and a 50, you stop my job. Have a good one, right? I'm IT team investigator Adam Walser with photo. 